So you and Wilds and Brew have been camping out at Yankee Stadiums the, uh, the last couple of days. Uh, the series yeah. obviously wrapped up last night. The Dodgers ra- uh, rallied and came back down from 05. Uh, how does this compare to the mm-hmm. closeouts of other, other World Series to you? The closeout game. Well, period. here's what I – yeah, sure. So, listen, the Dodgers were the better team, and even if the Yankees won last night, the Dodgers were the strong favorites for the series. Uh, but there was going to be massive pressure on the Dodgers down or going from up 3-0 to it being 3-2. 24 teams, 25 teams, or sorry, 24 is the number, prior to this series had been up 3-0 in the World Series. 21 had closed it out in four. Only three had ever lost game four and then needed game five, and none of those teams had ever lost game five. And the last team to be up 3-0 in the World Series before the Dodgers and not close it out in four was 1970. So they were on unprecedented ground or shaky ground already that was getting unprecedented. And when the Yankees When the biggest story for the Yankees is Aaron Judge's bat isn't going, and in the first inning, bang, two-run bomb, and then Jazz hits a bomb, and Stanton hits a bomb, and the stadium is rocking, and Cole is absolutely dealing, and then Judge robs Freddie Freeman of a home run, or a potential home run, certainly a double. I don't know. I mean, it was a he jumped and stole it off the wall, but I'm not sure if it quite would have cleared. Everything is coming up, Yankees. And then one of the most tragic innings of defense you will ever see in your life. It got started, sadly, with Aaron Judge messing up on a routine kind of line drive, fly ball combo, just dropped it. Then Volpe makes a questionable uh, play at short. So we have back-to-back errors. But still, bases loaded, nobody out. And Garrett Cole strikes out the nine-hitter, then strikes out Otani, and then Mookie Betts is at the plate, and Mookie hits a ground ball to first base. And they're going to get out of the inning, up 5 nothing, despite all the defensive lapses, no damage done. And Garrett Cole doesn't cover first, and Rizzo can't get to first. And they both just stand there and watch Mookie Betts screaming down the baseline. And then all of a sudden, Freddie Freeman hits a double. Tiascar Hernandez gets a hit, and it's 5-5, and Yankee Stadium is catatonic. It was an unbelievable gag job in a half inning to lose the World Series. And I sports Demonze are so cruel because Judge has struggled in the playoffs his whole career. Yesterday, definitively, was shaping up to be his greatest postseason game and moments by far. The home run, stealing a home run, another big hit, and for his, that was, I think, the the only error he committed in the outfield all year. And it's a routine play in the World Series, just didn't squeeze his glove quite right. So, so like now that haunts like him, that lives with him. Jason Tatum missing a layup to go up 10, and instead they get like a three on the other side. It starts a run. Yes. And it's like you start exactly. Yeah, ex- yeah, except it's also game five of the NBA Finals yeah, and they lose. Yeah, it's the close And their up, season's right. over. And, and yeah. I'm going to add one other point to it, to your context. In the previous dozen playoff games, Tatum was shooting 24% and the team was winning despite him. Yeah. I mean, this was a judge. I mean, judge, this was judge's first multi-hit playoff game all season. And prior to last night, in his last 35 playoff games, dating back five years, he had one multi-hit game. This is a guy who just had maybe the greatest season by a right-handed hitter ever. Um, So, 
That's a tough one, man. And now on the other side. So I'm going to give you guys a little Dodgers history because this is the flip side to the cruelty of sports is sometimes you bang, bang, bang on the door and then finally mercifully break through. Dave Roberts got hired to coach the Los Angeles Dodgers or manage, sorry, the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2016. They won 90 games. They go to the NLCS, lose, good season. It then started the following run, DeMonze. And the, again, I'll say this for you, but also for the, you know, our audience might be like, we don't talk baseball on this show, so there might not be as familiar with what the benchmarks are or whatever. 81 wins obviously means you're a 500 team. 90 wins means you're a good team. Usually that makes the playoffs. 100 wins means you are an awesome team. And anything north of 100, you are almost assuredly the best team in baseball this year. Okay, that year. Some years there are multiple 100 win teams, but it's it's pretty rare that actually did happen to the Dodgers once where they won 106 and the uh Giants in their own division won 107, but that's pretty rare. So Dave Roberts takes over in 2016. Here's how it goes for them. 2017, 104 wins, go to the World Series, lose in 7 to the Astros. That Astros team you know, they might have had the signs and the pounding and the signals and the <laughs> cheating and the whatever. Um, but hey, Dodgers looking great. The next season, only 92 wins, get right back to the World Series, but get smoked by the Red Sox. The very next season, DeMonze, 106 wins, lose in the first round. The next year is the pandemic year. They win the World Series, but there's no fans. There's no crowd. It's a 60-game season, and people are like, eh. The very next year, 106 wins don't make the World Series. 2022, 111 wins lose in round one. Last year, 100 wins lose in round one. And this year, 98 wins smoke everyone in the playoffs, almost lose in round one, and then smoke the Mets, smoke the Yankees, win the World Series. Like, they have been banging on the door with what really tough postseasons. Well, I, you know, probably some the direct, randomness of, of... To oh, what? Man. What were you going to say? I was going to say Otani, but I know he hasn't. He didn't carry yeah. throughout the series, but... oh. Mean. No, but it might. I mean, he did. He he played his best in the one series they almost lost, the NLDS, and without him, they would have lost that. And I do think that, even though he wasn't playing great, I do think just having him at the top of your lineup put so much stress on the pitchers. So, yeah. uh, like, no doubt about it, having Otani there helped them. But also, you know, the other thing that's the difference is it's baseball, man. And these tight, like a uh, best of five series, you can just get beat even if you're way better. It's just so different than the other sports. So I listen, I'm thrilled for Dave Roberts. I'm thrilled for Freddie Freeman. I love Mookie Betts. It's a great story. And but it's just so painful for them to lose like that as a Yankee. Or, you know, in if you're a Yankee fan, it's painful to lose like that. All right, what's your follow-up before we get to football? Are you officially a baseball guy? Are we going to start talking more baseball on the pod? Or is this just so a- here's the thing. I We don't talk it on the pod because it is weird to parachute in after not talking it all year. And I really, there are two types of baseball games I like watching. First type is the Royals when they're good. And the second type is any playoff baseball game. Play like the difference in enjoyment level, excitement, and nerves from a playoff baseball game to a regular season game can't be compared to anything else in sports. Regular season, it just feels like, eh, whatever. Like, you know, find a way to get through the game, find a what a playoff baseball. 
It's the third inning, and it's a 1-1 count, and the ball's on the corner, and your team's at bat, and you thought it was an inch off the plate, and they call it a strike, and you're like, you've got to be kidding me. Should be 2-1, we're in control of the count now, it's 1-2, every pitch is so nerve-wracking. So, I love playoff baseball, I don't pretend to be a baseball expert, but I do, I, you know... I was out on the field at Yankee Stadium the last couple of days, and I at least pretended to be one pretty damn well. Um, and so I, so I, I'm not a baseball guy, but I do love playoff baseball. And I, I gotta say, and we can show the picture. I deeply appreciate um, Fox and FS1 uh, setting me Wilds and Brew up like that. I mean, this is the biggest World Series baseball's had in at least a decade. And, you know, you could argue in 30 years, the Cubs making their first World Series in forever was maybe more substantial. But what it's, it's what Yankees Dodgers is as good as it gets in baseball. And for Fox to put the effort and resources into getting us out there and then getting us John Smoltz. Alex Rodriguez, Joe Davis, and Dave Roberts on the show was just, and oh, and Big Poppy on the show remote the day before. Uh, it was just phenomenal. And so I, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or... Just click the link in the description below.